Hi there, day 37 in the life of Ontario Perni, the famous Chinese Tussa silk moss. Now they are only a few days away from starting to build their cocoons. They are really big now and they are looking for new food. Like this one here, it's waiting for another green leaf to eat. But there is no at the moment, so we have a look at the nice caterpillar here. Beautiful and big. Now it's around eight, seven and a half, eight centimeters. Now I have to take them out and give some new twigs of food because they have eaten practically all the leaves here and I think we have to really present them the new foodstuff otherwise they cannot go into pupation. Look at this twig here it's completely uh, eaten up and let's see whether we find a larva here there's no here and also here there's no one But they must be hiding somewhere, so we'll find them. As always, they are hidden very well here. Well, here's another one. Uh, two of them. A very heavy caterpillar. Look at this big caterpillar with the nice hair all around here on the body. And also this one here. Really big caterpillar so I have to present them to you like this otherwise it's too big to have it on one picture so now this is around eight centimeters long I think that could be around the maximum size of an Ontario uh, perni and originally we had six in here so we need some more so where are they let's have a look here they must be hiding somewhere here. Oh, here's another one. There are two here. Okay. There are boats here waiting on this one on this side and one on this side here. Also very nice and big. So this is number five and number six. So Let's see whether we... No, number five. Uh. Oh, here. <laughs> now I... Was, look, I missed this one, really. So here's number six. Now we have all together here. Yes, now I have some new food for them, just here, look how beautiful all of this fresh material is here. So, and if you wonder where I get it from, I have a special trick to get me these beautiful uh, twigs of oak high up in the trees. Have a look to this little video. Yes, mostly if you're looking for a nice fodder plant for your insects, you see a nice oak tree like this one here in the back. But with this one, you can't reach the leaves up there. So you have to think about how you can um, bring yourself up there, five meters above the ground to cut some of these very nice leaves on that oak tree. Because remember, if you're taking a fodder plant, go to a place where there are no farmers around um, spraying insecticides because that is a real danger also for your uh, loved insect animal. So go to a place where it looks nice around and natural and pick the most beautiful tree you see and then try to take some of the twigs that are on the top 
or at least a little bit higher up on the tree because also if, if there's a road uh, nearby like for example here there is some dust coming up and mostly it's deposited if it's dry season on the top of the leaves and that is also not very good for your insect so we put away this I think or I put it here and I show you what I do now this is a, a lopping shear with an extension so this can cut twigs at about the height of around five uh, meters and I'm going to show you why this is one of the very good instruments for all of you collecting for the plants for insects because then you can reach the nice uh, branches and twigs of the photo plant a little bit higher up. Now let's see what I do. First I take out the extension. So this can be now like around five meters high or even higher. And then I'm looking for a nice branch to cut. Like for example here, that's a very nice one. What is down? Now here I see another one, this is a little bit uh, thicker than the other. Let's see whether I can cut it also. So, now let's look here, we found these really nice twigs now, they look fresh on the top and you even can cut a twig that is pretty thick like this, about three centimeters in diameter, so that's an easy way to cut your fodder plants for your insects. Yeah, so you know where I got all these nice twigs of oak from with the trick of this uh, lopping shear that you can go high up into the trees to cut the nice leaves. So these are the six big caterpillars of Ontario perni. As I already told you, we are not the first to try to breed them. There's a long, long history of breeding on Terrapani, around two to three thousand years back in history. And also in Europe, a lot of people try to breed them already since hundreds of years. One of the books that I present to you here is from the Amateur Entomologist Society in England. It's published 1956. It's around 60 years old now. It's just a handbook which you can learn to rear all the nice silk moss. It's not Bombyx moi, that's one they don't feature in this book, but all the others you will find here in detail. For example also Ontario uh, Perni. You'll see here nice pictures of the caterpillar, of the cocoon, and of a female and also nice text and um, also beautiful illustrations of the different cocoons also building instructions for terrariums and everything it's nothing new under the moon they tried it already 60 years ago our grandfathers and they also had fun doing that like we have uh, today but of course at this time nobody was talking about edible insects and only about um, rearing the beautiful silk mosses and mostly for their value as producers of nice silk. So this is also an interesting book we can come back in our other uh, playlist for example with Conimbrosia bellina, the edible silk moss from Africa that you can see here but here of course it's uh, called Nuda Aurelia, that's another kind of a name for these caterpillars. The interesting book, so 
We have a lot of uh, resources for our breeding process. Now look here, are oh, the beautiful big Ontario penny. This one is changing already a little bit from this neon green to a kind of a yellowish tone here on the back. So this will mean that it's starting to go towards pupation or cocooning now. So let's have a look in two or three days and come back, subscribe to this channel. You're then the first to know when they start building their cocoon. Thanks for watching.